Good morning, dear children. Welcome back. I am Mrs. Sitara, your social science teacher. In today's session, we are going to learn class seven, term three in geography, unit two, map reading, part one. Come, children. Let us learn. Before going into today's session, let us see what are we going to discuss in this unit. We will try to learn about the maps and scale. We will identify the various types of maps, understand the various elements in it, and learn legend and sign and symbols. Dear children, reading of maps will give clear understanding of the geographical location, where the place is exactly located. The physiographic features, what are the features of that place, whether it is a mountain, it is a plateau or a plain, and what are the water features in that area, like it does contain a river, lake, ocean, etc. As well as the cultural features like the roads and settlements. So, by reading maps, you can get a clear understanding of three things. First thing is geographical location, physiographic features and cultural features. What is physiographical features? They are like mountains, plateaus, plains and water features. Cultural features include roads and settlements. The maps are meant to be the preserving records of the past which help us to understand the past and perceive the future. So they are the preserving records of the past. Ma maps are the preserving records of the past and it will help us to understand the past as well as to perceive, perceive the future. Maps portrays political boundaries of different countries and states. You can find the exact boundary of a particular country in the map. It helps the students to visually understand the size and shape of various countries, continents, etc. So when it is given in the form of a picture, you can easily identify the shape of a country or a shape of a continent. When we learn about continents, we have seen, isn't it, using maps only, we have seen the continents. Maps clearly refer to the properties that people own and the geographical boundaries. You can clearly understand the properties that people own, the special features of the people as well as the geographical boundaries. So maps are the records of the past and they portray the political boundaries of countries and states. As children, we are able to visually understand when we see the shape or a size of a country or a continent, we are able to understand it in a better manner. Now children, come, let us see what are maps. Dears, a map is an essential tool of a geographer. A person who is into the study of earth is definitely need of a map. They need a map to learn. Map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to the given scale. So you have the representation of the earth. The earth is represented as a flat surface. On a flat surface, how the, we learn that earth is spherical in shape or we can say it is in the shape of a sphere which is pressed at both top and bottom. So when we are trying to represent the earth in a paper, in a flat paper, and it will be given according to the scale. The scale of the map will be specified. That is, one kilometer is equal to one centimeter or so. It can show what are the things the map will show. Yes, definitely it will show the countries, the continents, the cities, local area are drawn with specific detail. When you search the net in your uh, tab or in your mobile phone, you can see map and you can enlarge and see to the correct location. You can see even the streets very clearly. It is easy to handle and carry it as it can be rolled up or folded and stored in computers. Very easily you can roll it up or you can fold it or even you can save it in computer. So maps are an essential tool of a geographer. It represents the earth as a whole or as a part of the earth is drawn on a flat surface using a given scale. Now children, let us see what are the different types of maps. Yes, as each map is unique in its design, content and construction, 
you can see map varies from design and or the content it could be a political map or it could be an outline map or a reverse map or so on on the basis of certain common features maps can be classified into several types you can classify the maps into different types based on the features it has dear children in the early times various materials such as animal skin cloth parchment p a r c h m e n t parchment papyrus p a p y r u s papyrus wet earth and clay tablets were used to do make maps so we can find earlier times maps were made on animal skin or on cloth or parchment it is a kind of paper papyrus also the type of bark of the skin of the tree wet earth mud wet mud or even on clay tablets clay slices clay slabs were used to make maps now let us see what are the different types of maps dears maps can be classified on the basis of scale or on the basis of content you can classify maps in on the basis of scale as well as on the basis of the content on the basis of scale it can be classified into large scale and small scale so large scale map and small scale map and on the basis of content you can see it is classified into physical and cultural so maps can be classified on the basis of two things first one is on the basis of scale into large scale and small scale and on the basis of content into physical and cultural now let us learn of about the maps on the basis of scale you can see large scale maps large scale maps shows small areas in greater detail because they are drawn on a relatively large scale the picture shows that of the metur area and it is given in map of india map of tamil nadu then salem from that you can see metur metur is given in details this is a large example of a large scale map cadastral maps are village and town maps which show individual fields and house sites you can see an example of cadastral map given there now we will learn about topographical maps topographical map show smaller areas in much greater details about small area dear children these maps are prepared by survey of india these are also large scale maps which show both natural features like hills and valleys as well as man made features like buildings roads canals etc so dear children a topographical map shows smaller areas in much more greater details about those areas and it is prepared by survey of india and these are also large scale maps which show both natural features there will be natural features like hills and valleys as well as man made features like buildings roads and canals now let us learn about small scale maps small scale maps show large areas like continents and countries these maps are drawn on 1 cm is equal to 1000 km these are called small scale maps you also have wall maps wall maps are small scale maps showing larger areas they are useful for students in classrooms and offices and small scale maps cover a larger area and depicts with little or limited information the information given will be less because it is small scale map which shows larger area the next type of small scale map we are going to learn is that of atlas a t l a s atlas you are very much familiar with the book isn't it it is a collection of maps in a book when you have a collection of map in the form of a book we say it as atlas atlas maps are small scale maps covering large areas like continents and countries only prominent relief features main roads and railways important towns are shown in atlas maps the study of geographic characteristics of a large area is possible at the time with with the help of an atlas you can study about the geographic characteristics and you can find only prominent relief features like main roads and railways important towns are shown there dear children the science of map making is called as cartography what is the science of map making it is cartography 
Karte, C A R T E. Karte means map and graphic means drawing. One who draws maps is called a cartographer. C A R T O G R A P H E R. Cartographer. So, what is cartography? It is a science of map making. Who is a cartographer? A person who draws a map is called as a cartographer. The science of map making is called as cartography, and the person who draws map is called as a cartographer. Having learned about atlas, it is time for us to learn about the types. Types of atlas. There are school atlas, advanced atlas, regional atlas, and national atlas. School atlas, advanced atlas, regional atlas. and national atlas you know children what is a school address very good it contains map giving sufficient details of home and country that is a school atlas advanced atlas contains detailed maps of even small regions of the continent and are used as reference atlases they are used as references and they contain even smallest or the minutest of details then you have regional atlas it contains detailed maps of small areas prepared with a view of help in regional planning so a regional atlas is made with the view to help in regional planning national atlas contains detailed maps of a particular country so school atlas contains just enough details for home and country advanced atlas contain detailed maps of even small regions of the continents and they are used as references at regional addresses contain uh, details regarding uh, which help in regional planning and national atlas contain detailed maps of a country now children let us learn about maps on the basis of content we'll see the classification of maps based on the content we have physical map relief map geological map climatic map and soil map physical map relief map geological map climatic map and soil map what is the meaning of physical map it shows the natural features such as reliefs geology soil drainage elements weather and vegetation so the physical features are depicted in a physical map a relief map shows general topography or like the mountains valleys plains plateaus and rivers the various reliefs or land features a geological map are drawn to show the geological structures like the rocks in an area or the minerals or soil in the particular area what about a climatic map yes it shows a distribution of temperature rainfall clouds relative humidity direction and velocity of wind and other elements of weather they are depicted in a climatic map then you have soil map yes it shows a distribution of different types of soil and their properties so based on the content maps can be classified as physical map which shows natural features like reliefs relief map which shows topography like mountains valleys plains plateaus geological maps which shows geological structures like rocks and minerals climatic map which shows the distribution of temperature rainfall cloud velocity of wind and other elements of weather soil map distribution of different types of soil and their properties now let us move on to cultural maps yes my dear children cultural maps show the man made features like roads canals etc now we will see about political map political map shows the administrative divisions of a country a state or a district you have seen political map of india right these maps facilitate the administration in planning and management of the concerned administrative units then you have population maps which shows the distribution density and growth of population occupation structure as well as literacy so a cultural map shows the man made features a political map shows the administrative divisions of a country a population map shows the distribution and density and growth of population then we have economic maps 
it depicts the production and distribution of different types of crops and minerals location of industries trade routes and flow of commodities you can find it in economic maps what are the things you can find there distribution of different types of crops and minerals location of industries trade routes and flow of commodities then you have transportation maps which shows roads railway lines and location of railway station airports seaports etc so a transportation map contains detail about the transportation various means of transportation thematic map represent the distribution of a particular feature or theme and its spatial variation you can find uh, the distribution of a particular feature or a theme and its spatial variation in a thematic maps so cultural maps you are having different types political which shows the administrative divisions population which shows the distribution of density and growth of population economic which shows the production and distribution of various types of crops and minerals transportation which shows roads railway lines and airports seaports etc and thematic map which shows the distribution of a particular theme there is a special map called as a digital map which is a web based service that provides detailed information about geographical region and sites around the world so a special map which is in available in net is called as a digital map that's what we are do using when you use, go for google maps it's time to wind up today's session dear children let us have a recap In this session we discussed about maps and the various types. Map is an essential tool of a geographer. Map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to the given scale. It shows continents, countries, cities and even local areas. It is easy to handle it as it can be rolled up or folded or even stored in computers. On the basis of certain common features maps can be classified into several types it can be classified on the basis of scale as large scale and small scale large scale maps include cadastral map and topographical map small scale map include wall, wall maps and atlases there are different types of atlases like school atlas advanced atlas regional atlas and national atlas On the basis of content maps can be classified into physical and cultural. Physical map shows relief maps, geological maps, climatic maps, soil maps. Cultural map include political map, population map, economic map, transportation map and thematic map. Teacher in the next session we will discuss about the elements of maps. Worksheet for you, worksheet number 1, roman number 1 fill in the blanks. Question number 1 The science of map making is called dash The science of map making is called dash Dash is an essential tool of a geographer Dash is an essential tool of a geographer Roman number 2 Answer the following Question number 1 What is a map What is a map What is an atlas Question number 3 Name the types of atlas With that we wind up today's session my dear children thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe our youtube channel youtube.com/samchirkalvikai thank you